holy layers. Oh. That's Star Trek. Live long and yeah. prosper. Yeah! Where's London? Where's London? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Be careful, you don't know where you're going. Oh! Whoa! What the heck? Is going on? Can you see? No, I'm closing my eyes. Get her! I guess not. So we have a lap track in our backyard that we make the kids run around when they have too much energy. But it's been so cold that we haven't made them go outside lately. But we're gonna be watching the baby today, so it's time to run some laps. Let's go! Here we go. Oh geez, they're going two ways. Here we go, come on. Get her pace. Come on, London. You got one. Yay. Yeah, look at that swimming. Oh, you can make snow angels. Yeah! Big hands, big hands, big feet, big hands, big feet. Your hands and feet. Your hands. Yeah, Paisley! It's time to give Ava a bath. Who could win? Who could win? Darn it, Paisley's ahead, she wins. Ava. Whoa, she's getting wiggly, huh? <laughs> Nope, do you know what we're doing so with we these though? We're going to put her handprints in her feet. Oh, I see. It's got ink on that side, so you push it. Yeah, you just push it in there. Ah, oh, oh, makes sense. We got our little baby book. All right, lady, you ready for your foot? Okay, let's try it. Oh, oh. I see her little footprint in there. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, look. Uh -oh. There, that was much better. <laughs> we got a whole arm on there. Oh, we got a double hand. Six fingers. <laughs> <laughs> or a little eat your nose. Work. Oh, just a dot. A little dot. Can you whack on me? I was like, what is that white stuff? <laughs> All right, there they are, official hand and foot prints. Nice work, baby. So this is my first time ever helping with giving a baby a bath. This is our fifth child and I have never done this. So I figured it would be appropriate for me to help. So babies get really cold in the bath. So the idea is they like to feel, you know, like snuggly. So you're gonna take this one and this one's gonna get wet in the bathtub. So you're gonna wrap her up in this. Okay. And put this blanket in the water. Okay. So that she's like, wow, warms all the way around her. All and right. Then she'll be happy the whole time. Not Let's do it. I think I need a bath. Put her in there, make sure she's gonna like it. Aww. Is it too hot? I don't think so.
Holy layers. You're helping too. Techie, no, no, Techie! We got a little bit on the fries. <laughs> oh, she says I'm done! She looks like a toad. Oh, oh, goodness. Okay, I'll help him just a second. Oh, goodness, goodness, dear. Yay! You did it! <laughs> Thank you to my cheerleaders. All right, now that we have done baby Ava's, all the other kids want to see their baby handprints. They want to see all that stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look real quick. This is daddy, mommy, and me. Whoa, you're our first baby. What? Look, buddy, you even have one. Aw. It's <laughs> Lily and Paisley. <laughs> Paisley, you found your feet in handprints. Look, Lily, that's that's Star Trek. Live long and yeah. prosper. London, look, there's your first bath. Hey, I have it. I have seen my bath. See if it's the same size. Wait, is it? Are you bigger? It was kind of little. Tyke, you got yours too? You want to see yours? This kid wants to do every single thing that his sisters are doing. And if he doesn't get to do it, he gets so mad. Okay, here, let's turn around here. Brother! If you haven't started having kids yet or you have kids, it's so cool to have these memories where they can go back and look at all these and compare and talk about it. They absolutely love it. Even our 18 month old Tykin is doing it. Daddy wheeled me home in a wheelchair. Yep, look at daddy's beautiful long hair. It was really, really cold outside, and we lived just across the street, and I said, I'll just walk home, and the midwife was like, uh, you just had a baby, you're not walking. I'm like, I can see my house, it's right there. And she's like, no, Payne's gonna put you in a wheelchair, and he's gonna take you home in a wheelchair. Yep. Daddy pushed me across the street in a wheelchair. So we, so we lived across the street from a birth suite, so literally we walked next door, had the baby, and walked home. This was one of my favorite pictures of Tykin. Hey, I've got a great idea. You guys wanna play with some balloons? All right, I'm gonna get some balloons. We're about to have some fun. I can't believe she can sleep through all this chaos. What are you doing, Lil? I'm doing something. You guys have run to go right here to my switch. Run! Ah! <laughs> 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 
I've been cut. Help me. Help me. Help me. Uh, uh, I'm gonna make you a lot. Now that we have five kids, it has been quite a bit more crazy for any of those who say once you have more than three kids, you can't really tell a difference. Uh, that's not true at all because the difference between four and five is complete and total insanity. But two to three is actually a bigger deal. Okay, maybe four. I think four to five for me is harder because she's taking care of the baby. And now that I'm working so much from home, I'm taking care of four babies. So you felt the difference. Yes. So I'm feeling the difference between four and five. And maybe that's also because of this whole pandemic stuff and, and that. But yes, I feel massively overwhelmed, not only to provide a living, but to help take care of and help Katie. And it's just, it's complete insanity. So that said, uh, let's go take a quick look at some of the, the new construction homes that we're building. Just so you guys can see what's going on here in Southern Utah. It is the greatest place in the world. All right, we are on site of a new construction build that we uh, have got going down here in Southern Utah. Super awesome in the garage, massive RV garage, big other two car garage here. Having RV garages in Southern Utah are almost a must because we have so many toys down here. Make sure the floor is okay. Okay, we're good to go here. Really nice, beautiful floors in here. They're gonna have an awesome view of Pine Valley Mountain right outside these windows. You'll be able to see all the way up there. It looks small in the video, but it's actually a really big view. Uh, and then in here, big, big ceilings. This is gonna be awesome. Huge grand entry right here. Look how big that is. It's awesome. So you walk in and you've got like 14 foot tall ceilings. Oh man, this house is gonna be incredible. And then you've got over here, you've got like a little guest bathroom. You've got, this is gonna be like a full casita over here. Um, so you've got like water hookups for a sink and stuff. And they've got their whole own bathroom in here. This, this place is truly incredible. And so I'm gonna take you to one more place and just give you a quick peek of how beautiful Southern Utah is. And you guys will fall in love with it, I promise. So this is walking out on the front of the house right here. You can see nice, big, beautiful entry. The views here are just unprecedented. It's awesome. There's gonna be a new uh, Mormon temple going in right over here from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So it is just, it's, it's awesome. Let's go and show you one more house. All right, now we are on the top of our subdivision here. Let me turn you around here so you can see how these views are gonna be. Uh, now there is gonna be a home here and a home here, but you'll be able to have this huge uh, 20 foot uh, slot all the way down here. And you can just see, this is absolutely beautiful. This home was going to be one of our model homes, but we ended up, our market, everything selling so much that we actually just decided let's just sell this place also. So this is one of the coolest uh, things about this home. This whole wall opens up. These two sliders come all the way over here. And then it is amazing. This is what would be your backyard. It's so cool. Literally, you have no back neighbors. I want to share what I'm doing sometimes. You know, this is... Uh, something about me that most people don't know is that real estate has provided for my family for many years and it has been an incredible way for me to uh, get to live a wonderful lifestyle and now that i'm pushing so hard into youtube and to having fun with these memories uh, it's a it's it's a great back and forth for me to be able to still take care of my clients in the real estate world and take care of my family and play and have tons of fun and the last best part about this whole thing is we've got 20 new lots coming on the market here within the next three or four months that we're going to be able to build beautiful dream homes for people so if you want to come make your home here in southern utah have a beautiful retirement community or you want to be surrounded by other amazing people like myself shoot me an email and we'll get you taken care of. You guys are amazing. Have a magnificent day. And don't forget to watch that video or watch that video.